Ushomole to stop making remarks that will destabilize Nigeria, Wiki says Buhari. River State Governor Yeso is on what Wiki has called on the federal government to warn the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Comrade Adam Sushumole, to stop making inflammatory remarks capable of destabilizing the country. Governor Wiki also berated the APC national chairman for saying that there would be no swearing in of the PDP candidate in Bayesa State, saying he has no such powers. He said the federal government should warn Oshumole to stop making remarks that will destabilize Nigeria. What he is doing in Edo State is not proper and he should not bring it to the rest of the Niger Delta. He said that Oshumole lacks the power to make pronouncements after the Supreme Court has ruled on the Bayesa matter. We Oshumole to determine who has spread in a state. Supreme Court has made a ruling. It is unfortunate for Shumole to come forward to say that nobody will be sworn in, he said. He said that Shumole is making unguarded statements because he has lost the support of APC governors. Hence, he wants to curry favor through careless talks. He said it is most unfortunate what Shumole is doing because he wants to retain his position as national chairman. APC governors have rejected him. That is why he is struggling to prove that he is fighting for the party. He is making statements as if he owns the country. This is the same way he is carrying on in a do state, fighting the governor. He believes that he has the forces to cause crisis. He is arrogating powers to himself, which is not good, he said. Governor Wiki described Oshumole as a man who preaches one thing, then goes ahead to practice a different thing. He said the situation in Edo State has exposed Adam Sushumole as a godfather who once preached against godfathers. He said Sushumole would not be allowed to destroy the Niger Delta. Governor Wiki said the rule of law must continue to prevail at all times. Wow, I never knew that uh, all these people have been watching what has been happening in Edo State. And now they are trying to vent their opinion concerning what Oshomole has been going through in his home state. And everybody has been looking. They didn't want to say anything. I think uh, this uh, opportunity just presents itself for Wiki to be able to chip in in what is happening in Edo State. Because what's the reason why Wiki is talking now is because it concerns his party. And naturally, people were like, oh... Uh, when it favors PDP now, they will say, oh, let the rule of law see his cause. Of course, it is natural that if you win, you want, if you want favor, you will be happy. Uh, in, in, in short, you will be happy that it favors you. If it does not favor you, you want to look at the reason why and why it did not favor you. You want to go about it or, you know, contest it or to review it. So, um, like I've been saying, People are always saying, oh, APC passes matured, this and that. If there's any judgments against them, they are always calm. Why PDP? There is nothing on the, that favor or that uh, case favors them or the outcome favors them. If it does not favor them, they will be going from pillar to post, uh, protesting and what have you. And the question is very simple. If you believe in yourself, if you believe that what has been given to you, you know, it's not what you expected. Of course, you have the right to challenge whatever. But if you believe that everything is okay, you just sit down and be watching, knowing fully well that, no, you cannot win this case. I think that is what is happening with a PDP. Normally, they don't go out. They don't, they don't, they always, if, they, if the if uh, the judgment does not favor them, they will still definitely want to contest it or uh, condemn it which is still natural if apc decides not to be doing that good and fine it means automatically they believe that maybe the old thing even if they try to review it or to go to check the old thing it might not favor them at the end of the day but pdp whether it favors them at the end of the day or does not favor them at the end of the day they just believe that oh something did not just go wrong and they have the right to do so if you don't want to do so as apc good and fine that's the way you want it or maybe you have discovered that there's no point going into a uh, fruitless uh, effort or fruitless event. So it is no matter of, uh, oh, when it favors PDP, they will start coming, oh, a judiciary is not, the judiciary is in danger and what have you. 
So that is just the way it is naturally. But come to think of it, what happened in Bayesa State? Because even yesterday, I have never heard such a thing that, okay, because you are PDP, eh, because you are your deputy is, you know, is found guilty of any uh, crime or whatever, that the main man will be affected as well. Uh, but now we are beginning to know more about what the law says. And at the end of the day, some people are of the opinion that the 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 vote of PDP constitutionally does not really spread that much that will warrant PDP. But as we know and as we have heard from the court, many for the fact that the man did not present the right certificate, every of their votes is is cancelled, it amounts to zero. So who is going to take up <laughs> the next person? So whether the person has spread or does not have spread, because as it is now, the uh, vote, all the votes of APC in that state is, is, is useless, so to speak. is really, really useless. So uh, from another report I've heard, the court has already told the INEC, told INEC to issue certificates of return to the PDP candidates, which INEC has said, of course, they are going to obey the the court, according to what the court said, they are going to present the certificate to him because as at yesterday, they were like, they were trying to study the judgments and some people were like, hey, you don't have choice to do that. The court has given his verdict or your own, all you need to do is just for you to give the man certificates and now they have said they are going to give the man certificates. But for Shomale to be saying, no, the man will not be sworn in and what have you. And that is why Wiki is trying to say, no, let Shomale be warned. Let the president warn Ushumole. But you and I know that the president will not do such thing. He will not even warn him. So that is, by the way, sir, it is the masses that will be able to warn Ushumole to say, oh, this and this and that. Look at everything holistically. But the one that baffles me is when Wiki started mentioning what Ushumole has been going through in his uh, party. You were just like, really? These people are just like sitting down watching the old scenario, but they wouldn't want to come in. But the opportunity presented itself for Wiki to be able to, you know, get at Oshomole, saying Oshomole preaches one thing and does another thing. But one thing is pertinent, you know, let's go with what the law is saying. Though no politician is what is what supported because once they get there, they will not remember you and I. I saw a lot of people jubilating in Bayesa states yesterday, good and fine. That is what the law has said. They naturally they are they are allowed to do so. Of course, when you are on the winning side, you'll be happy. But when you are on the other side, you will not be happy. It is natural. But one thing is that, is it just to be happy for these people? Because as we, as we speak now, the the dividends of democracy is just for those politicians, governors, and what have you, those who are holding key positions in this country. That is the way they are. they have been playing everything. Everything has been playing out. That is how it has been going. So if you are happy... You are not happy for yourself because at the end of the day, they are all the same. Whether PDP or whether TTT or whether APC or whether whatever, whatever, the foundation is already faulty. We are waiting for that man that will change the narratives, positive narr to change the narrative in a positive way, not camouflage, not scam, not the one that will say, oh, I will do this, I will do that, and at the end of the day, nothing will happen. Somebody that will surprise Nigeria, somebody that will be ready to do the right thing from top to bottom we are waiting for such a man but for what we have seen in the past for what we are experiencing is nothing to write home about it's nothing for one to be happy like they always say sin is believing until when we see somebody that will uh that will do the right thing that will put smile on the faces of the people that is when one can rejoice because as it is now it is all about their cronies their families family members and what have you but unfortunately i really pity the the, the governor, uh, the candidate of a uh, APC, Leon, the man we he carry, he don't use a impeachment photo to Robin. I learned that the man has been reacting, doing a manner of things. Oh, you can imagine a king will be sworn in today all of a sudden. Hmm. Everybody say all of a sudden. <laughs> that is what the pastors always say. My friend, tell your neighbor all of a sudden. Yes, all of a sudden, everything just went sour. Because of uh, another man's potopoto, the country can rob the 
governor the other candidates let's put it that the candidate of a uh, apc is very very unfortunate you can imagine the woman the wife will be preparing oh you can imagine first lady in the making you would you'd have you know they would have prepared their their, their dressing their dresses oh the the gaily like this say uh, hey you can imagine first lady oh my goodness all of a sudden one deputy governor elect just spoils all their joy spoils all their joy now all of a sudden, the ones who was not even prepared, who was not even preparing because I'm sure AP, AP, PDP knew quite all right that definitely nothing will make the APC candidate not to be sworn in because, you know, they will just go to court and say, okay, let us just see what is happening. Let us just try our best. Let them go and test their popularity. I'm sure, I believe, 100%, they never thought that this kind of a thing would happen. Of course, maybe they must have known because from all the indications, because for them to even go to court in the first place, knowing that this guy does not have what it takes to to be in that position. But the unfortunate thing that there is that the so-called uh, the governor elect or the candidate of APC is the Senate. How come? How come? How come did he uh, uh, was he able to to get there with this all this uh, irregularity of certificates? Because they say he has changed name five times. They have different, different uh, 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 names at different times. That was one of the reasons why the whole thing, the Yawa Congas. But how did this get through with INEC before becoming senator? That is the abnormalities that is happening in this country. The unqualified. We have a lot of qualified people with clean record, but they cannot be there. We have people with integrity, they cannot be there. But the unqualified are the ones ruling the qualified. You can imagine if such a person who has that kind of a thing. You would have just maintained and keep yourself where it contains you, but they believe that everything goes. Because the foundation is faulty, A to Z. They are just covering themselves up from A to Z. We know what has been playing out. So how can such a person who entered it through Wuruwuru now presiding over those who are eligible who are qualified but those who are qualified cannot be there you can see what is happening you see what is playing out but i pc the the apc candidate david leon but as it is i don't know whether apc will want to want to say they want to review the whole thing but what is there to to review because what apc is trying to hold on now is that oh yes it's a, a they don't they don't have the spread how can they be how we, whatever but the man in question you are not talking about the forgery of the certificate that is you know that uh, 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 is that made him to be disqualified you are not talking about that one but now all their votes is nothing so what do you expect so some people are like oh this man is now found in his voice i'm just even to dry, I'm digressing again to wiki because wiki all of them never said anything before now they never said anything when apc won and uh, you know the problem with a uh, uh, this thing now they don't like this thing. some people say they don't even like uh, this a uh, apc candidate that is not what the state wants but your man the man that you wanted the people that you wanted see what they have done you should blame them now the situation has presented itself that these people pdp will be there it is not their fault it is not that they are not the ones that said the man should not have a clean record and it is based on the clean record that is causing them this a uh, wahala now people are blaming a uh, wiki that now no, but none of them said anything. Now they are beginning to see to the side of a uh, uh, Dixon because all of them, even with good luck, Jonathan, you see all the all the parole that play, all the drama that played when APC won. Everybody was like, why would Jonathan do this? Why would Jonathan do that? You know, sometimes again we've been seeing some days again we've been seeing uh, the Jonathan and his family romancing with a Buhari. Only just God knows what is happening in this country. If you are there fighting for one politician, you are wasting your time because these people, they know what they are doing. There's this there's secret that all of them, you know, there's something that is, every, most things are just uh, uh, shielded, in, shielded in secrecy. They know what they are doing. Nobody can vouch for anybody. Like I always say, they will say, oh, I have been the president of this and this and this and that. Okay, even if a good luck, Jonathan, consider defeat. At the end of the day, what did they do? Because what they do would have been playing us in our lives. But see our lives now. See what are we? What are what can we say with, that we can hold on to? Like I always say, majority of them they go into politics. Most of them, the way they come into politics, they will not be rich then. But after they have left office, they will be so rich. So it is always favoring them. So it is not all about us. It's all about them. It is all about them. So that is it. 
you know, they've been romancing each other. We don't only God knows what happened. But that being said, that is their own cup of tea. Let all of them be covering what is not. But as it is now, let's wait whether the uh, PDP candidate will be sworn, sworn in. As uh, Oshomole is saying, you know, that will not happen. We can say, call your man to order. Tell him, Buari, like I said, Buari is not going to do anything. Let's just allow things to flow. Let's see how it goes. So, guys, uh, let's hear your take concerning this whole thing for... We get to be calling Buari to call Ushumole to order that Ushumole should respect himself. So guys, let us see your take. Leave your comment below in the comment section. Thank you.